In 2011, India announced that it had eradicated polio, a highly infectious viral disease that caused irreversible paralysis, especially in children. The foundations of this achievement, however, were laid by a woman who envisioned a polio-free society over seven decades ago. She was none other than Fatima Ismail, who led the battle against polio in India. And in this video, we take a look at her life. Fatima Ismail was born on February 4, 1903. In 1920, she went to Vienna to study medicine, but had to return in 1923 when her family was hit by a financial crisis. Given her brother Umar Sobhani's proximity to the leaders of the Indian freedom struggle, she was drawn to issues of social justice and emancipation from a very young age. She established the All India Village Industry Association along with Kulsum Sayani and also served as the secretary of All India Women's Conference in 1936. She got married to Muhammad Hashem Ismail, a government trade commissioner, and they had a daughter called Usha. The turning point in her life was when she realized that her daughter was suffering from poliomyelitis. Motivated to secure the best treatment for her daughter, Fatima set out to Madras where she was turned down for providing any medical help in the case. After relentless solicitation, she could finally get a doctor to start treating Usha. In the eight-month-long stay with her daughter during her treatment, she was exposed to the catastrophic condition of polio-stricken patients. Having seen the callous attitude of the medical community, she headed to Pune and started learning about rehabilitative techniques that were given to injured soldiers and exploring how she could imbibe them. Fatima was determined to provide medical facilities to disabled polio-stricken persons. With limited resources, she established the Physiotherapy and Rehabilitation Centre for Infantile Paralysis in 1946. Along with medical facilities for polio patients, she also envisioned accessible education and recreational facilities with organizations like the Fellowship of the Physically Handicapped and the Children's Orthopedic Hospital. Around 1947, her persistent efforts started getting noticed by Indian medical fraternities as well as international organizations. She visited the United States and Europe to attend conferences and spread her vision of rehabilitative care for polio patients. In the same year, Fatima established the Society for the Rehabilitation of Disabled and Crippled Children. She approached the then Prime Minister Pandit Nehru with a request to grant land for a hospital in Mumbai's prominent racecourse area, Haji Ali. Since the area was frequented by affluent people, she sought the larger society to be aware and responsive to polio patients. The result was the Children's Orthopedic Hospital, which opened in 1952 inaugurated by Nehru and continues till date. Ismail was awarded the Padma Shri in 1958 for her phenomenal groundwork in building a polio-free society. She was also nominated to the Rajya Sabha in 1978 and served until 1984. Fatima Ismail passed away on February 4, 1987. She leaves behind a legacy of care and cure and of relentless efforts to launch a polio eradication movement in a country like India.